Kent Hardware and Hunting at 3872 Main Street in Folkestone is a proud sponsor of Charlton Indians football broadcast. Stop by and see Patty or Mark for all your hardware or hunting needs. Right, welcome to Charlton Sports Weekly, our Thanksgiving special, Coach. The, um, first of all, I want to thank uh, Glenn Hughes for everything he's done for Charlton Sports Weekly. He's on vacation. He's headed up to his parents' house over in uh, Albany for Thanksgiving. Gonna, I'm sure he's going to do a share of eating up there. He sure will. I, I talked to Glenn, and, and I knew he was headed to his parents' house, and he said, we'll, uh, we'll meet you in Donaldsonville, so uh, we'll see him there when we get over there uh, Friday evening. And, uh, yeah, Glenn... Glenn has been with us since I believe 1989. He's been with me. He's, he was a former coach on my staff, and and then he went with the uh, rec department, went that direction, and he's uh, since he since that since he started the rec department with the rec department, uh, he's been doing my stats. He's really truly, uh, and and we it's not really we joke about. It. He's our sports information director, but he really is. He can not only keeps up with all the football stats and football. Uh, the history of Charlton County football, and it keeps a website up and running, but he also keeps up with uh, the stats and, and the games of all the other sports that we have also. So Glenn Hughes is a, a big part of Charlton County athletics, a big part of, uh, of, of Charlton County football with, uh, with keeping up with the history and so forth of Charlton County football, especially since the last 24, 25 years. And I know I really appreciate that. I know whenever the season comes to an end, he'll be ready with all the – all the stats oh, and yeah. where, where these kids stand as far as uh, the history of Sean County football when it comes to uh, uh, the Russian stats. And there, any kind of stat you want, Glenn Hughes has it. I can ask Glenn, uh, you know, at this point in, in, in the past and the history, how have we done uh, in different situations? And he's been able to tell me and, and bring up the stats pretty quick. So Glenn does, a, Glenn does a great job, and uh, we're lucky to have him. He's a football guru around here when it comes to the history of the Indians. He really is. He can look back on it. Coach, we're in uh, Gantt Hardware and Honey, uh, one of our football sponsors for the for the webcast. Uh, been trying to get a show in here for a while now. Mark, Mark's finally allowed us to get in here. We've got all of our schedules together, and I uh, wanted to thank Mark for everything he does for Charlton Sportsnet. Well, Mark's a former player of mine. Uh, he he was been in the program. He was a four year guy. Started for me and and uh, was was one of those uh, guys that you love to have on the team. He was a team team guy. Played a lot of different positions for us. Uh, and I'm really uh, really kept up with Mark. What he's done here is uh, running this business and and really uh, proud of the job he's done and. And again, uh, like like a lot of our former players who have stepped up and has, are doing good things, uh, Mark has really uh, uh, kind of put his uh, you know put a stamp on this place and has really uh, helped us out with Charlton County football. And I really appreciate what Mark has done for for our kids, and that's the kind of thing we need. We want former players or even former uh, alumni uh, mm -hmm. from Charlton County High School stepping up and doing things to help help uh, all of our programs. I know he's sponsored not just football, but he's, he's sponsored baseball, and yeah. we really appreciate uh, the job that he do, he's done for us. So uh, I'm, I'm proud of Mark. And, and, again, you know, I can remember him back when he was a freshman football player all the way to the time when he was a senior football player and, and, and graduated and moved on. So, again, proud of Mark and, and really appreciative of, of him uh, supporting Charlton County Athletics. Can, can you tell us a story he might not want to let out? I've got some stories, but again, they probably don't need to be let out right here uh, on this. But uh, you, you talked about you'd get a lot of likes. People would want to know about them. But no, I, I, just the memories of, of Mark as a player, as just a, a kid to have, a great guy to have around, a great guy in the weight room, worked hard, and, and the kind of people that uh, you want in your program. You'd yeah. like to have a lot of Mark Gantz uh, when it comes to uh, in your program. But yeah, uh, we do have memories. We do have stories about not only Mark, but a lot of our kids. And uh and amongst the coaches and, and, of course, off air, we can we can talk about those things. I don't know if they should all be talked about now. But one of the things, kind of like Vegas, what happens at, exactly. on Indian exactly. Field stays at Indian exactly. Field. Exactly. We, <laughs> we have our stories. I hear you. All right, Coach. Well, while we're on the subject of, uh, again, hardware and hunting, he's got, he has corn on sale, deer corn. I know for the hunters, the outdoorsmen, there's a lot of those around here. Seven fifty a bag, Seven fifty a bag, Mark, till Friday. Till Friday. So depending on when the show airs. Friday, if we're up Friday. Say that again. All right, did you catch that? Yep, I got it. Five or more, seven fifty. 
Oh, five or more 750. Okay. All right. Yeah, we want to specify that. Mark will be coming to us for the difference. <laughs> All right. And also, as you can see, Hunters, he's got the firepower back here. That's why we're behaving up here because he's got the arsenal right there. Now, uh, Coach, talk about uh, we did the Coach Mac show the other night, got into the details, you know, the nuts and bolts of uh, Seminole and the Indians. How have the, how's the practice been going? Well, like for everybody that's still in the playoffs, this is Thanksgiving week. Uh, we used to have school Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Took Thursday off and Friday off uh, and, and played Friday evening, Friday night. But now that we have uh, the entire week off, it's a little bit more of a challenge, but it's the same challenge that all, all coaches and all team have at the teams have at this time. Uh, we've tried to put them on some sort of a schedule. I knew that the trip back from Commerce was such a long trip. I knew we had several players mm -hmm. with family and friends up in that part of the state that were going to spend the night, maybe spend a day with them. So on Monday, the first thing we did was move the schedule later in the evening. We had a Monday, we had film, was able to go out underneath the lights uh, and get some things done. Uh, yesterday, Tuesday, uh, we had a, a lot of rain come through. Yeah. It really, to the point, we felt it was best not to go out. We took advantage of our new field house and the space we have in it. We did a lot of film study, and then we, uh, in the meeting room, is large enough. We were able to take the pads off, line everybody up, line up our offense and defense, and walk through it, talking mm -hmm. about responsibilities. We'd have liked to win out, but, but again, we felt like it was better for us at this point in the year, if it was early in the year, no question, we'd go out in right. the elements. But we felt like at this point in the year, it was better for us to, to take care of our kids, keep them inside, try to avoid injury with uh, you know the wet fields and the wet ball and everything. Right. And then today, of course, we had a lot of wind today, which was hard on our passing game, practice our passing and our kicking game. Mm -hmm. But we did it and got it done. Uh, had a good day on defense, um, had a lot to do on offense today, Wednesday. Tomorrow, Thanksgiving, we will go out there at 9 o'clock in the morning. Okay. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we've been on that 9 o'clock schedule right there. So that's worked out good. Getting the kids out of bed at a, at a decent good time, good. keeping from laying around all day. So uh, I'm sure after practice they probably all went and had lunch and, and then probably went back to bed. But, but still, <laughs> uh, getting them up was important and getting them yeah. out there and getting them moving around. Uh, tomorrow, Thanksgiving. Uh, it seems like every year we'll have we've had practice on Thanksgiving, it's and turned really into, turned into tradition. It really, tradition it is. It is a tradition, and it's a, it's a really a great morning. Uh, yeah. You know, you get everybody out there, and, and the atmosphere is somewhat light. It's a Thursday pregame. Go through pregame. Go through your uh, what you're going to do on both sides of the ball, and and then uh, really, you know, it's kind of a tradition. I always tell the kids, you know, what I'm thankful for before we leave, and, and we always had some coaches do the same, and it's been. We at this point we're starting to feel a lot like a family. Anyway, yeah. we spent so much time together uh, throughout the summer and throughout this fall. We do feel like a family, and it's great to be able to get together on Thanksgiving morning. Uh, you'll have guys show up in their camo and everything, coming yeah. straight from the woods, straight to practice, <laughs> and probably straight back to the woods. But probably uh, uh, it, we get there, and, and again we're going to go through uh, about about 15 minutes of film. Uh, just to make sure we understand some things we need to concentrate on. And then we'll take the field for about 45 minutes. So we'll be over there for about an hour uh, tomorrow morning, Thanksgiving morning. And then we'll send them home to be with their uh, family and friends. And then we'll get back together on game day at 1030 in the morning. We'll get together at the field house, mm -hmm. finish packing things we need to uh, uh, take on the road. And then we'll go ahead and go to the film room and we'll, we'll break down some more film uh, for about 30 minutes. And then uh, make sure again, the big. Uh, we'll get on the bus. We're going to head out. We're going. First stop's going to be Valdosta. Right. In Valdosta, we're going to stop and we're pretty much going to do our pregame meal, our big meal of the day, uh, there. And then from there, it's it's about two hours or so, on to Donaldsonville on 84. We're going to go ahead and take it on into uh, Donaldsonville. And directions are really easy. You stay on 84 till you get to Donaldsonville. Then you turn right. left on. You turn left on Tennille Street, and it's just down there about a mile on the right-hand side behind the elementary school. If you go to the high school, it would be the wrong place. Their stadium is actually behind uh, the, behind elementary, the elementary school, uh, right down that um, Tennille Street there. So it's, it, the directions are pretty easy. I know we have a lot of people talking about going. I hope they do. The weather should be should be relatively nice for the last uh, the last Friday of November uh, anywhere in the state of Georgia. I think the weather is going to be good. It's going to be dry, uh, a little chilly at night. but but uh, it's, uh, it's going to be a good atmosphere, and it's going to be a very good, very tough opponent we'll be going against. So yeah. looking forward to another good trip. Like I tell the kids, uh, and they, they are believers now after last week, we do a great job traveling. Yeah. We, uh, 
we're prepared. We, we, we do the right things. We, we don't cut back anywhere, can't cut any corners. So uh, we get there. We'll be ready to go so that we won't have any excuses not to play well. You've traveled for so many years that um, it, the, the kids, you guys are used to it. It's not like a new team just coming in the playoff. They don't, you know, might not know how to react. You guys have been doing it for 24 years. Well, for quite some time now, I've been one of these guys. I save everything on my computer. Uh, I have stuff saved all the way from back to 2000, when the computers really got on all the teachers' desks. Uh, so I can bring up old travel itineraries uh, from, from way back and, and uh, kind of compare them, and, and I'll make notes. And when we get back this Friday, I'll take the seminal uh, travel itinerary. If it went well, I'll save it as is and make some notes about it. If it didn't go well, if I, if I didn't allow enough time or allowed too much time, I'll make notes and make adjustments, and I'll save that travel itinerary so if next year we turn around and, and ride over there again or somewhere about the same distance I'll be able to look at that refer to that and uh, make any adjustments we need but again traveling is not a problem for us uh, so again that's no excuse our, our only excuse may be just a, a very strong very fast Seminole football team that may be our only only excuse we have well hope, hopefully I know you well not hopefully I know you guys will be ready for them a lot of speed out there and uh a lot of speed, a lot of, uh, a lot of athleticism on their side, uh, and it's something we've been preparing for all week long. All right, Coach. We're going to take a break. Chris is giving me the hand signal over there, and uh, we appreciate you coming tonight, Coach, coming up here to Gant Hardware and Hunting, one of our webcast football sponsors. Well, appreciate it. It was great to come up and get to see Mark again. Haven't seen him probably in, uh, since the festival, so it's good to see him again. Oh, and happy Thanksgiving to you uh, and yours. You too. Thank you very much. The Folkestone Pharmacy. Your original hometown pharmacy for over 45 years is a proud sponsor of Charlton Sportsnet broadcasts. Folkestone Pharmacy accepts insurance from most local employers, including the City of Folkestone, Charlton County, Babcock and Wilcox, AJM, Charlton Memorial Hospital, and many others. The Folkestone Pharmacy wishes the Indians best of luck this season. All right, welcome back to Charlton Sports Weekly. I have a head coach, Jamie Jackson, here with the 7-8 and eight football Cardinals went undefeated this year. Before we jump into football, Jamie, I need to mention real quick, Dolores, uh, talked to Dolores the other day, basketball tryouts, which I know you're involved in that too. Yes, sir. Um, December 2nd and 3rd, start yes, at sir. 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock at, the, how, at the gym out there. At, yeah, at over the, here at the rec gym. At the rec gym. So, uh. You want to join basketball? Get out there some rec basketball. I know they've had some huge numbers last few years. It's yeah, thirty dollars yeah, still, right? Thirty dollars still. Thirty dollars sign up. See Dolores during regular business hours, or show up there yeah, sir. at the trials, and I'm sure she'll sign you up right there. Yeah, let's get everybody out there. You, you taking a team then too? Yes, sir. All right. Seven, what age group you grabbing? Seven eight. Seven and eight. All right. Well, Jamie, let's talk about your Cardinals, man. They have been the talk of the town, undefeated. Yes, sir. We had a. I mean, it was a nice season this year. We got a lot of kids coming out now. Like in the years past, we've been having like a little bit of kids coming out, but now we're getting more and more. They're getting more and more involved, sure. and now and we're getting a lot of size bike coming to Charlton County. And some games we played in the regular season, we had the way other teams was trying to say that we had older kids, but it's just the size that's coming back in Charlton yeah. County now, like how it was in the years past, the way it was like the bigger boys, the bigger crop is coming back now. And yeah. I mean, we played fair and square. We we put them where they needed to play, and we just had just talent everywhere. That's, that's what Charlton's known for, isn't it? Yes, sir. Especially on the football field, is that talent, that natural talent, just keeps resupplying. resupplying. Yes, sir. Speed and size. Hey, uh, talk about your, some of your. Uh, I know that all the kids obviously go undefeated. They all did great. Talk about some of your uh, your skill position guys. How, how yeah. they how they did this year? Well, um, my quarterback was Jamie Jackson Jr., which. He led the team in scoring touchdowns, and he threw a Very couple good. of touchdowns. He threw four touchdowns this year passing. And hey, seven, eight-year-old, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, and that actually awesome. there wasn't no short passes. There was like 30 or 40 yards in the air. So Really? And then we had Marion Woodard in the bike field. He was the running back, and we also had uh, uh, Raheem Anderson on the late Bob Brown, his own yeah. grandson. He was on a part of the action, too. He played, he played really well running the ball, and... I mean, we ran like basically a wing tee, which we hit them from every direction, yeah. up the middle to the outside. And, and on defensive wise, we had a nice line with uh, Jared Aldridge. Um, we had Colin Lloyd. We had some decent size out there. 
And those boys, they, Charlton County is going to be a force to be reckoned with I in the years coming. I hear they're, they're, they're coming back. They're, it's funny, you know, we talked we talk with Coach Mack earlier, yeah. and he talks about how some people think Charlton County on the football side is having a down year, but we keep making the state playoffs. You know, I mean, that, a lot of teams just love to make it, just love to be there. So, uh, yeah, yeah, you're definitely correct about that with the rec football coming up. Talk about the impact of rec, because I know you've been involved as long as I've lived here. I've, I've always, I mean, you even coached my son, yes, sir. And AJ. So, I mean, you know, you've been you've been doing this for a while. It's, I mean, the best thing to do, is it gives the kids something to do rather than just sitting at home, getting in trouble, running around in the streets. Mm. You get them involved in the sports and show them it's a fun way about things. You know, just more, it's more than hard work. You know, it's, it teaches you discipline and it, it just a whole lot, man. It, it just, yeah. man, it, it just, I enjoy doing it. I enjoy doing it, man, because I love the kids. And, mm. I mean, it's good to show them an example and show them that you care and that you love them. I mean, because without that, I mean, they won't. They won't be there. Right. And, uh, and we need that. We need that. that yep. feed. I, I call it like a farm system. Is what I kind of refer to the rec as. Because by yep. the time those kids, if they're coached right, and we know you're doing a fine job, obviously, with them being undefeated and everything. If they're coached right. They come into rec straight into Bethune. Those guys. Those kids know what they're doing. Which it showed up this year with the Bethune team. Yes, you sir. Know, they, they ran the table just like y'all did. So uh, when we talk about the uh, the kids coming back, the. Re- Reloading, as as we like to refer to it, Hilliard. I've got some cousins. I have some cousins down yes. there. They've got to be so tired of it. <laughs> yes, and uh, he and, and like some games we played here, I kind of like took the foot off the pedal a little bit, yeah. you know, because I didn't want to make it the way you know the other kids on the other team be like, well, we don't want to play them. We, you know, I yeah. I try to like play everybody, even to, to get the um, smaller kids more experience too, rather than to just keep playing and blowing somebody out and blowing somebody out. I like to get the other kids some experience too, so that yeah. way, when the other kids move up, and then the following you year, the next group, they're ready. They they already ready. They're ready. I like I like to stir the pot with Hilliard a little bit. <laughs> my family down there. I'm sure I'll hear about this this weekend. Matter yeah. of fact, I have to go yeah. see him Friday. So, <laughs> yes, I mean, he got a, a pretty good team though. I mean, they do. They do. If they can just get some speed, speed down. that's 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 the that thing. Has, they miss that some has speed. Them from since they started getting involved with us is the speed. Yes. All right, Jamie. Um, Talk about the, uh, I heard you had a heck of a run, awesome run in the All-Stars. Yes, uh, we ran into Pierce County. We beat them once, and then the second time they beat us, and then we played again, actually, on Tuesday night. Well, not Tuesday night, Monday night. Uh We played them again, and we came up short in overtime. But, I mean, it was a lot lot of stuff went on during the game and after the game, and, I mean, I really don't want to touch bases yeah, on it because, yeah. We don't, we don't, yeah. Need, we don't yeah. need to get into yeah. politics. It's yeah. about, yeah. It's about yeah. the kids. Yes, yeah. Parents, you know, we've, we've all, we've all been around, you know, yeah. sometimes parents, you know, things, yeah. things get said that don't need to be around yeah. the kids. Yeah. So. And that's why I, I told them, I like, we can't win them all and, yeah. I mean, we'll get them next year. There you go. That's the attitude to have. Yeah. I heard, I heard, uh, you had three touchdowns called back in that thing. Yeah. It still went to overtime. Yes, sir. But we won't talk about them flags. Yeah. Yeah. I heard about that yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jamie. Listen. Uh, anything else going on? You want what? Uh, you're going to coach the seven and eights basketball. Basketball, yes, sir. So we, we need all those yeah. seven and eights. Come on out and sign on, on up. Sign on up so we can make a run at the state in basketball. No, no doubt about it. No doubt about it, Jamie. Thanks for coming up, buddy. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, all right, thank you, sir. Appreciate you coming up so short notice. All right, and we'll be right back with Charlton Sports Weekly. Okie Finoki Rural Electric Membership Corporation offers more than dependable electrical energy at a competitive price. Quality service is provided by a friendly and professional staff trained to meet your every electrical power need, whether residential, commercial, or industrial. If you have any questions or need information, call us at 1-800-262-5131. Okie Finoki REMC, owned by those we serve. A proud sponsor of this year's Indian Football Broadcast. All right, well, back, we're back with our Thanksgiving special, Charleston Sports Weekly. We've got finally con Mark Gant to come around here and talk a little bit. He's a football sponsor for us on our webcast all season long, past two seasons with football. Mm-hmm. And uh, that first year we were we started off, you stepped up and helped us out with some baseball, baseball. sponsorship too there in that playoff run. And uh, we, we appreciate that, Mark. Mark, talk about what, uh, what all you've got going on here for Thanksgiving with your store. Well, we got a lot of deals going on. We're getting a lot of new stuff in for Christmas. 
And we're going to put a lot of stuff on sale Friday. And it's not just going to be on Friday. We're going to keep it on sale, you know, up until Christmas. Because I know a lot of people are going to go out of town Friday. Right. So we're going to be here when they get back. All right. You're going to be open Saturday? Mm-hmm. All right. And uh, what kind of sales specifically? I, I know you the store is a little bit of everything. You've got hardware. Right. You've got hunting. You've got fishing. You've got plumbing. I mean, we've got it all in here. Uh, talk about the hunters right now. Hunter, hunters are it's a big thing right now. What, what have you got going on for the hunters? Mostly for the hunters right now is my corn and my guns and ammo, because it's hard to get ammo right now. But we're we're working like crazy to find some, you know, for everybody around here that needs it. The corn, like today and Friday, I'm selling corn for seven fifty a bag, but any other time it's eight dollars a bag or five or more for seven fifty. You know, that we try to help everybody like that. Yeah. And uh, well, man, we got all kind of accessories in your scents, your dopeys, your calls, uh, ground blinds from wraps, everything, man. We got it all in. I like to tell people when, when you come in here, you can take care of the honeydew list so you can go hunting and do it all one yeah, stop. Yeah, you can do it all at one stop. That's right. Get it, get it all done. We got a lot of them coming in. I see you got a lot of lot of new guns back here, Bart. What you got What you got in stock? We do. We I got a couple of AR-15s right here from Palmetto State, which are really good rifles. They've been hitting the market good this year. And I got some new Rugers that just come along. The Ruger American rifle has really flooded the market this year. You want to pull one out and show mm -hmm. it off? This is what... What I can, what I would call the Ruger's economy rifle, because we all know Ruger's kind of high dollar, but they've come out with a rifle that's a synthetic synthetic stock, and it's affordable for the you know the everyday worker man. They don't want to spend eight hundred dollars on a rifle. That's how I look at it. So what's that going for? A little, just over four hundred dollars. What we sell these for? We, scoping all. Scoping all. We got it marked up to four forty nine, but like I said, we're putting them all on sale for Christmas, so we're going to sell this for four nineteen. What this bad boy's going for? They come in all calibers. That's a good price. <laughs> Y'all need to beat the doors down Friday morning. Yeah. And get up there. <laughs> you got no another doubt. on sale, Mark, up there? Well, we're doing something else with our AR-15s from Palmetto State Armory, which is also a really nice rifle. It's got a it's got a one to seven twist barrel with a chrome chrome line barrel in it, and these usually sell for seven ninety nine or so, and we're selling ours. Starting Friday, they're going to be seven nineteen. Seven nineteen. Mm -hmm. On this, it's AR fifteen. Yep, AR fifteen. Just how it comes with the mag and all. Now this sale, because you know we we're YouTubing these shows, so this sale runs through Christmas, all the way to Christmas. Christmas two thousand fourteen. Yep. Yes, sir. Almost said fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. And we've got all kind of new pistols in that we hadn't usually carried. We usually don't have this many pistols in stock, but we've. You know, this year we've amped it up a little bit. We've, you know, we invested a little more, and we yeah got some stuff in here to look at. I know my son Justin's coming here and actually bought some guns mm -hmm. from you. He's got, um, I, think, I think he bought two pistols from you. He bought a couple of pistols from me, and I know he bought his hunting rifle from me. Yeah, and uh, my, I bought one for uh, a two forty three. Yep. yep. AJ killed his first deer with that. I gun. seen that the other a day. I was happy. A couple weeks ago, he got a he got a uh, four point, four point with it. So buy a gun from Mark, get your first deer killed. That's right. <laughs> All right, Mark, you got anything else going on before we head out? Uh, not much. Just I just appreciate being able to do this with y'all. You know, I appreciate oh, y'all letting me sponsor the teams and everything. We, we and, appreciate uh, you. We couldn't get it done without you, the, uh, especially with these road games going out of town. It's uh, especially last week, that road game up to Commerce, oh, yeah. six hours one way and six hours back, and that's if you drove straight. Yeah. You know, and uh, it makes for a long I didn't ride. drive straight. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. But we do appreciate everything you do for us, Mark. There's no doubt about it. And uh, anything we can do for you, is, like with the show here and all, we we certainly will. And I appreciate it. All and right. I just thank everybody for for supporting us being here these couple of years, and we hope for many more. All right. Mark, happy Thanksgiving, buddy. Hey, you too, man. Happy all Thanksgiving right, to y'all. And we'll see y'all Friday night at the football game. You can also watch it on our game link. Uh, we'll have that up on our Facebook page.